Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's your boy JR Special. Just want to quickly address that Captain America twist. I'm sure everyone's heard about it already, even if you didn't actually read the comic book itself. But I just want to say, more or less, I think it is big. I'm not trying to take away the gravity of that twist or that revelation, but I think certain reactions it might be a slight overreaction. Like, I think people are saying, oh, Marvel have ruined Steve Rogers there destroying their characters and you know they can't ever go back and you know this is the end of an era kind of thing i'm thinking to myself well, not really because i mean me i take as an example was amazing spider-man 700 when the whole time marvel was like yeah and if you haven't read it this is a spoiler so i warn you right now that they were they killed off peter parker and they were like, we're going to kill him. We're going to kill him. <laughs> and everyone was like, yeah, yeah, all right. Please don't kill him now. And they killed him anyway. And then it was like, oh, no, it's all over. And then they brought out Superior Spider-Man. And Doc Ock was, was taken over as Peter Parker. And that ran for a while. But everyone knew Peter Parker would come back eventually. Like, and now he's Amazing Spider-Man again. And, you know, that status quo has kind of been leveled out again. So I don't see why people think, in the case of Captain America, that with this reveal that all is lost or it, it, it can't be paralyzed is lost and it can't be regained like you know oh he was that because he, he is i mean let's be honest he is that all american american and the, the twist is kind of turning that on its head but i think people are losing sight of how these things tend to work is that you know it doesn't mean just because there's one twist in the story now that later down the road marvel can't just not necessarily turn it back on its head, but that the character himself can't develop and become someone new again. I mean, this is a character development within itself and becoming this different person that's unlike anyone would have ever imagined Steve Rogers acting or behaving based on how we've known him for, for so many decades. But that doesn't mean that he can't find another way to become that person again if marvel cho choose to do that i mean with civil war 2 happening depending on ha what happens with each team and the way it all plays out he's said by the end of civil war 2 he doesn't become another person all altogether once again so i think we should just hold out yeah it is a shock and it is a, a a really big twist but i mean let's just hold out let's just wait to see what actually happens as opposed to just giving up on marvel stream oh no you've ruined it now you've ruined it because i'll admit i thought that to myself when amazing spider-man 700 or 700 ended and i read to myself that marvel what have you done red superior spider-man it was great then amazing spider-man came back again anyway and it continued to be great so i don't really see why this should be any different yeah, I get why certain groups aren't particularly happy with the the twist, and you know that they're not. Well, I don't know if it's gonna completely change their minds about continuing to read Captain America's, especially Steve Rogers' story and stuff like that. But I myself, I just think based on so many different storylines that I have read, that you feel initially you feel disappointed, especially if it's like the end. And you, it's uncertain where they go from there. I've, more often than not, it's the key is just to wait, wait it out. And with a series like this, as it's just begun, it's issue one, and everybody's already like, "Oh man, I think it's already changed a lot of people's minds." But I'm not going to read it now. But why let the one piece of controversy stop you from reading the entire series? Don't you want to see how it plays out? I mean, stick with it read it to the very end then you make your complete opinion and don't just go okay this one thing has sullied it entirely because once again i have to go back to the example of main spider-man i'll admit when 700 ended and marvel were basically saying yep that's it we're gonna go back we're gonna do something different i said oh you can't end something at 700 like you should have continued to got to a thousand then it would have been amazing but that wasn't what Marvel chose to do. I mean, they like they, they went and did Superior Spider-Man, and it was great. And then they went back to Amazing Spider-Man number one, and I thought to myself, oh, well, well, number one, really? It was really good, and it still is good. So I, I think sometimes you do have to just take the change, but also have to remember with these comics so that these characters are timeless, so that, or they're supposed to be at least. I mean, you take examples like 
Jean Grey. She dies more times than she's had up dinners, but she's always coming back somehow. She's always around somehow. I mean, she was gone for a little while, but she came back. Yeah, so I think more or less, um, going forward, I think people that read it or didn't read it or at least heard about the twist, I think that um, it should be used more as a catalyst for you to continue to read it as opposed to just leaving it at the wayside. I think um, me, I'm someone who really enjoys twists in stories and taking characters in different directions. I think um, then Marvel are really trying to diversify in terms of their characters. I think that there's no point of having, because I mean, oh, it's a spoiler again if you didn't know, but Steve Rogers was young, obviously, as we know, and then he became old again. Or he's, his age sort of caught up to him, now he's young again. But I'm thinking to myself, if you're going to have him go back to being a fresh-faced guy, there's no point of just making him be the same person again. Because then you already have Falcons, Captain America as well now. So what's the point of having everybody be the same kind of Captain America? You might as well have, you know, you should make people be a little bit different. So you have different versions. So you have, okay... Bucky Barnes, you have uh, Sam, Sam obviously is Captain America now as well Steve Rogers is obviously Captain America also, but all different iterations I and mean, having the original one be completely changed I think it's a brave and bold move because for me that was one of the things that I loved and really hated at the same time <laughs> I always have to use it as an example was Spider-Man 700 when Doc Ock became Spider-Man like how it happened i won't tell you how it happened you should read it if you haven't read it already but how it happened and the way it ended i was just like you, like my blood was literally boiling i think for me that's a good sign though that that's a really good sign of you've been able to create this story that's really hitting people in a way that it's really affecting them and i think that's a really good sign of storytelling and sometimes that does mean controversy that you have to have controversial things happen to two characters in order for people to go oh wow you know now they're talking about it you know and that's probably what marvel wanted in the first place was people to really talk about it and go wait did you hear about it? did you because everybody's talking about it now so obviously it worked that's it for this really i just i don't want to go too deep into you know the politics of it or you know go into deep textual analysis and all of that kind of stuff not really I'm not, I don't think I'm ever going to really do that too tough. Um, I mean, there's enough of that already out there. So if you want to talk about that stuff, I'm sorry, but this isn't the place to hear it. <laughs> I just want to talk about stuff that, you know, just keep it cool, keep it calm, keep it civil. You know what I'm saying? So that's me, man. You know what to do with these videos, man. You hit me up with that comment. Let me know if you've read it. Captain America, Steve, Ro Steve Rogers, number one. I'm, I mean, um, if you didn't read it, did you hear about that twist? What do you think about it? What do you think Marvel are going to do going forward with Steve Rogers as a character? Um, and what role do you think you'll end up playing in Civil War 2 now? Because um, you already have two Captain Americas already involved. And I think Bucky's also involved as well. So all three of them are involved. What role do you think you'll play in that? Uh, let me know. Do you think that this will possibly even affect the MCU? I doubt it, but you know, you never know. So let me know what you think in the comments, man share like and of course subscribe because man needs those subscribers players and i'll catch you on the next video man it's your boy jr special saying player out